Welcome to the Power Tahanui Inlet. Here, where the sea forms a shallow harbour, I watch the weather turn, the seasons change, and all the different animals come and go. One day, out of the blue, a mother duck arrives on the beach with six brand new ducklings. These little guys hatched from eggs just a few days ago. The duckling's father, the drake, comes too, but he only stays for a few days. After that, he leaves it up to the mother duck to look after her newborns. The ducklings rely totally on their mother. They don't know how to look after themselves yet. But they're very quick learners. They've already worked out how to follow their mother and to feed themselves. She shows them how to fossick for food. The mother duck's quacks tell her ducklings what to do. It's important for the ducklings to watch and listen to their mother. There are other, bigger birds on the inlet that could eat them. The ducklings are very good at swimming, but they can't stay in the water all the time. The fluffy down covering them is not waterproof like the feathers on their mother. And they can't fly yet either because they don't have wing feathers. But they can run even faster than their mother. take naps during the day on the beach where the mother can watch. At the end of the day when the ducklings are warm and fed and rested the mother takes them out on the inlet somewhere safe from nocturnal predators like cats and rats. They'll have to stay close to their mother to survive the journey. Will they make it back safely to the beach? A week passes and the duck family still hasn't returned. last, here they are. But something's wrong. There were six ducklings before, now there are only five. Something or some creature must have taken one of them on their travels. Now the mother duck is very cautious, warning the ducklings to stay close to her in the water. This black backed gull is an adult. He's big enough to eat the ducklings and he eyes them up greedily. The mother duck stretches her neck up. That's a sign that she's on alert. Could this gull be the one who took her sixth duckling? She stands between her newborns and the gull as if warning him not to pass. The ducklings carry on, unaware of the danger. She sounds an alarm call and the ducklings come to her. Finally, the gull gets the message and flies away to look for food somewhere else. The five ducklings have been lucky this time, but they have a lot to learn about taking care of themselves. Back on the inlet, the mother duck teaches the ducklings how to bob under the water. This clever disappearing act is just one of the tricks that may well save their lives. Mm -hmm.